Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. I did cover this video before, but we got some new people chiming in. So to all the black women out there asking, why are they the only race of women being asked by black men to help them build? This video is for you. Why are black women the only group that's being asked to build men up financially? Like, I just really want men to drop down in the comments and help me understand this because I don't hear my white brothers, I don't hear my Asian brothers, the Latin brothers, I don't hear my Indian or Arab kings out here asking their woman to build them up financially. I don't hear that. I will definitely not aim this towards all black women because I know there are a lot of traditional black women that are out there, but I do not agree with this woman at all. Hear me out. I am a sales consultant for a luxury car brand and I sell cars to all walks of life, all different types of cultures, ethnicities, all different types of people. You just, all different types. And the reason why a lot of those men who are from different cultures who are very traditional do not have to ask their women for any type of help is because their women do it willingly. I hear my Indian or Arab kings out here asking their woman to build them up financially. I don't hear that. So this post is to my fellow African American women who feel the same way as this woman does. Um, I work around a lot of foreign people, a lot of foreign families. I work around Indians, I work around Africans and Koreans and Romanians and Hispanic families. Um, and one thing that I can tell you with confidence is 99.99% .99 of African American women could not, would not, and is not capable of being the type of woman and playing the role that women play in their families within these cultures. And we know she's telling the truth because black women in record numbers on videos are saying that they won't accept a coffee date. So you know they're not gonna help a black man build. I had sold this doctor a car, okay? I believe he was a neurosurgeon or something of that nature. And he also did real estate. The guy made a lot of money. So I wanted some advice and I asked him, you know, different tips he can help me on because I was a marketer. So after we talked, he literally told me, he said, the reason why I am where I am today is because of my wife. As his wife sat across him, he told me that when he was in med school, when he was trying to get better at real estate and all these different things, his woman held him down. She made most of the money at that time. He didn't want for anything. He did the best he could to help support himself just as much as his relationship with his woman. Because of her, it helped elevate him to being in the position that he is now as a neurosurgeon and also him being really good in real estate, which gives them the riches that they have today. And what if I told you that that same woman is in the medical field and makes over $500,000 a year? Like the woman was a straight boss. The fact that you call some of the things that we deal with struggle love, that makes me know right there that there is no way that you could hold up to the type of women they are in other cultures in their families. Have you ever watched a Indian family run a hotel? Even though the man is the head of the household and even though their marriages are arranged do you know what the women do within that family and i used to be a delivery driver for ups so i've seen it all i've seen it from different cultures too from indian families to chinese families and even iranian families their wives put in work i want to give a special shout out to ken greg hawkins kevin burke ramon j bell and all in designs for supporting my channel through Cash App and PayPal. Please know that your continued support is greatly appreciated. But the dopest thing that I heard from this woman had nothing to do with how much money she made. She listened to her man speak and literally let him do his thing. She didn't have to tell me what she did for that man. It's just, it was something she knew she wanted to do. She allowed her man to lead and she showed that man respect and he loved her for it and he made sure to reciprocate that energy just like she did to him. I mean, I don't think you understand that there is no such thing as a soft girl era era it's just not i mean and no one in these families will look at building a family together as struggle love none of them look at it that way i look at the soft girl life just like retirement you got to put in the work first before you can have a relaxed retirement problem is too many modern women nowadays want a soft life with a man without putting in the work and I also met another man that was from Palestine and he had his own hotel. And when I sold this man a car, he told me before I make a decision, I wanna to talk to my wife first. And I said, that's no problem. I said, is there a reason why? And he sat there and said, my wife is actually my accountant. My wife does all my numbers. My financial decision is just as important as hers. When he's so busy running his hotel or doing other things, she's helping him run it on the side. Look, I've met black 
couples like this, Asian couples like this, almost every type of person. So he's saying there are black women out there who are willing to build with their man. So single women out there who are not willing to do it, you may be missing out. The man that may be for you, you're gonna have to help him build. When it comes to a marriage, the biggest common denominator is that these women work with their men. They are teammates. But the difference is that these women also reciprocate. They also work with their men. They are high functioning teammates. She helps him and he gives her a beautiful life and together they both win. In fact, in a lot of cultures around the world, you can't even marry as a man if you don't have your bread together. So why are black women being told we need to help upbuild? Why are we being told we need to ride or die? This lady made a comment um, about how um, usually the men in these cultures have to be somewhat stable before they, they um, marry or have a wife. It does not mean that they don't struggle because they do. They do. I've watched Indian families literally move into a hotel together. And I have seen it too. Struggle together. No, you know, stainless steel appliances, none of that. And even though the wife does not get paid, she will work 24 hours a day and take care of her family to make sure her husband hotel runs perfectly. 99.99% of African-American women are not gonna do that. I ain't dealing with no man. These trifling men, all they wanna do is sit around and play PlayStation all day. Now to my ladies, I'm not telling you to give your all to a man that is a bum dude that comes home every single day doing absolutely nothing with himself. Borrowing your car, you know, ripping and running, doing all that stupid stuff. Like we know those types of men. There's a lot of women out there that give their all to men and ain't doing nothing for themselves. And we all know those types of women that date those types of men. So don't be mad. If things are not working out for you, if you are giving your all to a man who is not going to reciprocate the way you are. It's not a black thing, it's not a white thing, Asian thing. It is a traditional thing, it's a teamwork thing, and men and women work together to make the dream work. Pour into a fountain and not a drain. Don't bring up other cultures because you have no idea, okay? Ask them, ask them. Lastly, when someone that you want to deem as racist says anything about the black community, um, we all are very quick to talk about statistics and data. And that data that you will bring up is the same data that you need to enter into your head, which is black men usually are more susceptible to unemployment and discrimination against jobs. It just is what it is in our community, you know? So don't forget that. Um, you can't bring it up when you know, you're going against somebody that you deem as racist, but now, now you want black men to be like everybody else. They're not in the position to be like everybody else, okay? Um, so rather than talking down on black men, um, we need to come together as a community and work together as a community because that's the difference between our community and other cultures. They work together. Um, and if you think that our men are damaged now. I've said it before and I'll always say it again. Start with the men in your family and raise them to be the type of men that you want to see in our community. Just as simple as that. Anyway, have a great day. Bye. I wanted to make this video because I found this young man and this young lady stating that they've seen with their own eyes women from other cultures helping their husbands build their lives and build their wealth. I'm hearing too many times black women saying that they shouldn't have to build with a black man. They think that women from other cultures don't help their husbands build. The truth of the matter is, you just don't see them build with their husbands. Like I mentioned earlier, I was a UPS driver for 13 years delivering packages to businesses and to houses, and I've seen it all. And I've seen it in many different cultures. The wives build with their husbands. So to all the black women out there who are saying they're not going to build with a man and they're looking for the man who already has it together, chances are you're not going to find one. But if you want to take a chance and hold out for one, all I can say is <laughs> good luck. Hey, somebody had to tell you and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.